Hi all, there's a fascinating Alpha Zero versus Stockfish 8 simulation being played at TSAC at the moment, so 100 games, uh, similar node ratios. So is it quality or quantity which really counts in chess? So this is an interesting question. So Stockfish 8 playing white in this particular game against Leela. The opening book given E4, C5, Knight F3, E6. I believe this might be the end of the book. Uh, given now knight c3 we have from stockfish 8 knight c6 and we go into topically a sicilian Svechnikov, which was of course heavily featured in the world chess championship of 2019 so we're in sicilian Svechnikov territory now uh, stockfish 8 chooses bishop takes f6 here another major move theoretically in this position is knight d5 these are the two major moves here so bishop takes was chosen g takes knight d5 f5 i've played this quite a bit myself uh, especially in my youth this is a very fun variation of the sicilian defense we have bishop d3 bishop e6 white castles Bishop takes d5, e takes, knight e7. Now there are two main moves here. Stockfish chooses c3. Uh, another tactical move is knight takes b5, knowing that a takes is a very, very bad idea here because a bishop takes. But black usually uh, here just can ignore and get a good position with e4 with some compensation. And that should be about equal. So c3 was chosen, not this knight takes. We have bishop g7, queen h5, e4. The bishop dropped back to e2. In chess space live book, the preference is bishop c2. For example, queen c8, rook a e1, castling, bishop b3, a5 is interesting. Interesting position, theoretically. On knight takes, for example, a4, and then queen c5, this should be about equal. Okay, so we have bishop e2, interesting move here, bishop e2, instead of the more theoretical bishop c2. And now we have castling kingside knight c2, king h8, as though Lilo wants to use that g-file. And this is something I really look forward to when I was playing Sicilian Sveshnikov, because, okay, you get the double pawns, but you've got that fun g-file to play with quite often. Uh, in this position, it seems f4 has been played before. For example, queen g5, f5 offering the f4 pawn. Uh, that's ignored because maybe tempo gains like knight g6. Now here f3, and this position is thought to be a small edge for white. Very, very uh, tactical stuff. But anyway, we have king h8, queen g5, rook g8, and the queen gets out of the way, queen d2, rook c8. Bishop h5 seems a bit of a pedantic move hitting f7. It's actually shielded, and now... Stockfish volunteers the bishop, bishop takes, and goes for this queenside pawn, a6 pawn. So critical juncture. Lena actually plays queen h4, doesn't mind sacrificing this pawn. It seems rook a8 is plausible. For example, a4. This position uh, should be uh, with good prospects for black uh, if this kind of thing happened. There's some good prospects, and it should be at least equal. But uh, this is more aggressive, just giving up the a6 pawn. And Stockfish greedily takes this pawn. Okay, so we have a knight on a6 at the moment. Now, brewing the attack, g5. We have g3, queen h5. So we're in potential form pawn territory with moves like f4 and f3. Rook a e1, stopping f4. So because of rook takes e4, for example, we have rook c4 protecting e4. Uh, maybe renewing the idea of f4, f3. Queen e2 hits the queen. g4, shielding the queen. h4. So now if en passant, then of course just takes. So that stops. Uh, Anyway, so uh, we have though another aggressive move, f4, being played. Queen d2, hitting f4. That's actually protected with the bishop. Queen c2, it seems 
Stockfish is reduced to pedantic looking moves here with the knight on a6. It looks like a really menacing position. This is what sort of kind of attracted me to this game. It's also one of, the, yeah, it's uh, I think one of the more aggressive games here. It looks like such a visually aggressive position on the king side here. This massive pawns. So we have b3 and the rook goes back c4. Now bishop g7 covers that diagonal. Knight b4. We have bishop f6 hitting h4 as if the bishop's going to sacrifice itself. White plays king h2. This looks like a very dangerous position now for this h file. So king h2 being played. If, for example, a4, this is just really dangerous now. This position with the incoming things like g3, let alone f3. If white has to sack a knight, if that's one of the best ways, it's actually just ignored and it's a really crushing attack. So things are in a bad way now. So this king h2 is reacted to with bishop takes h4. Rook h1 is played pretty desperate position. If g takes, then crunch time. Queen takes h4 and g3. This is a really vicious attack. What has white been doing in this game? Has white neglected the king? Well, these variations seem to say yes, basically. For example, like this, uh, it's it's really crushing stuff. Uh, so we have rook h1, but now bishop takes g3, double check, king g2, and now bishop h4 is possible. You might think, well, hold on, the king's behind here. Isn't there a backfire in this position? White played actually queen d2. If rook takes h4, white, black brother, is not obliged to take on h4 which runs into rook h1 uh, and this is no good really white has a big advantage no in this position black slips in the check first to interrupt the rook potentially if the rook if the king steps back then the rook can't go to h1 and here if king g3 f4 check and then queen takes h4 and this is crushing for white this g pawn and the exchange up is absolutely a winning position for black. So yes, uh, it's not possible to play rook takes h4. So we have queen d2, f3 check, form pawn around the king. Now king g7, so yeah, with ideas like rook h8 and bishop f6, that form pawn is cutting key escape squares away from the white king. So helping construct that, mating that. The king goes to g6 here, knight c6, rook h8 with the huge idea of bishop f6. We have the very desperate rook takes e4 being played. Here, if queen c3, for example, just to show the power of bishop f6, queen c2, queen takes h1. But uh, let's say rook takes h5. Then here, guess what black plays with that form pawn on f3? If I give you five seconds. Black to play. Actually, it looks rather winning even when Bishop takes c3, but maybe there's a complication. The most elegant move is seems to be this, just with the threat of rook h1 and, and the queen. And say knight e7, king sidesteps here. And this is just winning, yeah, absolutely winning. In fact, just ignoring the queen and just going for the mate is the best. You know, this this is going to happen, this chat, mate. So that form pawn plays a devastating role here. So rook takes e4 to avoid the wrath of the form pawn. We have f takes, knight e7 check. And now here, bishop takes e7. So similar ideas now. But two rooks and the bishop are more than a match for the queen. Rook takes. King takes, shielding. Well, actually, not yet, not playing rook takes. Uh, so it's not going in for that check queen takes e4 is without check bishop g5 queen d3 uh now we have b takes b takes and the game was actually ended here both sides for black was absolutely winning uh so it's more than enough for the queen as an example rook hf8 and here rook f7 and rook e7 so getting ready to double on the e file or just crash through to the first rank is really strong for example like this demonstrates some nice tactics crashing through with a chatmate 
yeah i'll take you back to the uh, the game end position so a fascinating simulation match at the moment at the time of this video yeah Leela is crushing it has lost three or four a handful of games uh, but the majority uh, have been draws but other than that yeah uh, Leela has been winning most of the games uh, by a huge margin uh, and stockfish fans will say well of course it's an ancient version of stockfish I know it's just a simulation of the a alpha zero stockfish eight match uh, which at the time it was reacted to quite cynically by by large parts of the chess world but um, yeah it does seem as though everything was extremely legitimate about that original match which was put under huge scrutiny stockfish has come a long way since stockfish 8 so I expect a really amazing computer match of the century when the soup by the time the super final comes it should be very very interesting for, for Leela okay if you uh, enjoyed this game video then please click on the top left box to become a member at chessworld.net play against other youtubers you can also export pgns and there'll be puzzles soon related to these videos i'm working on that at the moment uh interactive puzzles you can also check the analysis and advancement the improved menu learn from the masters youtube order button comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe with the notification bell really appreciated thanks very much